you have that phenomenal stretch of years right there where you go between playing for Coach Black in the Euro League, yeah, and then you go to the league, and mm -hmm. then you come back over to Europe, yeah. So as you start to get to, I mean, we're gonna get all the way up to this point today. Mm. When you go back over there, what is kind of your mindset then? Is it is it what you just said, kind of just prolonging your career to make sure you just have the longest time that you could possibly play? Or are you just going out there and going for broke every season or yeah. trying to get new contracts? Or how is, how is um, your mindset now? I'm just competing, man. I, I mean, the biggest thing, like, after, after the league shit happened, you know what I mean? I was like, I just want to go hoop. So COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So now the market is fluctuating, it's changing. So I go to a team that's in Turkey that just came up from second division. They won the first, and they needed some scores. So me, Two Holloway, and Dwight Hardy is on the same team. So both my New York guys and then me, and then we had Jamel Higgins, one of my guys from Virginia, and then uh, a few other guys, whatever, uh, European, we had a European big. So it's us five. We go out there, we do what we need to do. We're trying to win games, but it's, it's tough. You know what I mean? Our, uh, we got young Turkish guys, so they still learning the game and trying to figure it out. But we trying to do the best we can do to try to, you know, finish it out. But two kept it real with me. I'm like, two, I got a buyout, too. So he like, man, he's like, SK. He's like, bro, you supposed to be playing twice a week, bro. He's like, me and, me and White. I was like, me and White, son, we, we on our way out for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, respect. He's like, man, just do what you got to do and go get that buyout. So. Um, went to Jerusalem. So go to Jerusalem, link up, back up with my boy uh, Ray McCollum, and then go to Jerusalem and actually – Compete in Israel, Israel League, where it's though it was a little bit more respected. Uh, the team was way more respected. You know, uh, they was in Champions League, but they just missed the. They just missed that. I think they lost a the game and got put out. But that was one of the reasons why I went because I was like, I'll be able to play Champions League and that'd be good for my resume. But wind up going there and doing well, bro. Shoot, like I said, shoot forty percent, being a scorer, being a pick and roll guy, showing that I could pick and roll, and that landed my job in Russia. So now I'm in Russia. So now. We back on a level. I'm back on a level that I was on my first year with Black. Right. So now we got Eric McCullum, uh, Motley, Jonathan Motley, Greg Whittington, my boy Alan Williams, who played at UC Santa Barbara, Darius Thompson, and uh, if I'm missing anybody, I don't think I'm missing nobody else. So yeah, I think it's just five. Greg. I didn't know you played with Greg over there. Yeah. That's, and we, that's oh, crazy. So, we, so Greg <laughs> signed first. Okay. And I told Greg, I'm like, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to get on that. I'm getting on that mob, but we're going to go there together. He's like, hell yeah, kid, let's do it. I'm like, all right, so I hit my agent. I'm like, man, I'm trying to look up. So he trying to pull the strings. And he, he looked at my agent at the time, Lithuanian, and then the GM of local was Lithuanian. So they connected and they was like, oh, we like kid. We didn't know if he was available or not, but yeah, we, we want him. So sign the deal, go there. So I'm like, Greg, me, Greg. Eric McCollum, Matt, Alan Williams, Darius Thompson. So it's us six. And then uh, good Russian players, you know, really good, talented Russian players, good Russian coach. And we balling, bro. We hooping. Euro Cup again. We we it's, we it's we definitely got a chance. To, we got the roster to win it. And we, we, we're doing a damn thing. We killing, too. Mm -hmm. Eric and Matt both averaging 18, 19 points. I'm right behind them in third, averaging 13. Darius Thompson is averaging probably – 11, 12, right behind me. Greg averaged like 9 to 10. You know, Eric, Greg was fighting injuries. Allen was coming back off injuries. So once Eric, Allen got rolling, 10 to 10, easy. With, with, with his eyes closed, you know right. what I mean? And uh, we we mobbing now, bro. Like, we on that point where so we, going, we can possibly win this shit. And uh, Al, Greg go down with a little, little small injury, not too bad. Al coming back from injury, then I go down with a bad ankle injury. Uh, we playing in Spain, we playing in Andorra, Spain. Roll my ankle really bad in January. Right after January, the war between Ukraine and Russia started to kick us out of the Euro Cup. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. So we just we just played Partizan, my man KP and uh, the dude Zach was day. They on that team. Part we just played uh, Partizan. The legendary coach Obanovich just came back to Partizan. Played Partizan, and we beat them before the Christmas break. And um, they uh, go home for Christmas break. I come back, get ready to start the season back up. Like I said, rolled my ankle the first game out in the Euro Cup, starting out of the break. And uh, that was it for me right there because the war happened. I wasn't going to come back. And then that's when I started seeing the European side of the, the money situation because of the war. Then the, 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 the GM wanted to release me because um, 
I guess they wanted to clear up some space or whatever because I wasn't going to be back in enough time. And I left in April. I left in April, came home, and rehabbed his ankle, got back right. And then that's, that's when I realized I was like, all right, well, with the war going on with the Ukraine and shit like that, and then I, basically I didn't play the full season. I had to sit out the majority of the rest of the season and going to Wales to play right after the war. Kind of out of sight, out of mind when it comes to Europe shit. But I had some interest in Japan. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to Japan. Yeah. Well, he was a globe tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Dog. God yeah, damn. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. So now you're in Japan and um, yeah. you're over in Japan. How you been enjoying that so far? I love it. I love it, man. My first year, like, it was crazy, man. Um, my coach was from, from Baltimore, um, Kevin Braswell. Uh, he wound up taking it over because uh, the, the, the head coach that we had, um, he had death in the family, so he had to step down. Uh, so the coach took over and we started rocking. Mind you, I played half of that season, majority of that season, with still a bad ankle. Yeah. But average 17, but still showed flashes of what I was. And then this year was the year. This year was the year. 11 games, but average 23 points. Uh, then had a shoulder surgery. Uh, I injured my shoulder, had a shoulder surgery, and then I was done. But yeah, Japan's gonna be the spot where I'm going, or I'm gonna stay. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, you know, I get healthy, get make it back. But um, you know, next year, you know, it's gonna be some big things in, in, in the process. But yeah, Japan, bro, I probably could do Japan for another six, five, five, six, seven years. Right. You know what I mean? Go get it in, bro. I mean, um, I, I was on that. You know, I was on that for this year for sure. I definitely seen it. Yeah. <laughs> bro, again, and like I said, yeah. it's that switch that you yeah, see, bro. Yeah. And I, it's like you foam, like Paul's foaming to get to the. Yeah. To 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 I don't know. It's like man, I, you ain't gonna be happy till you kill a nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. It's basketball like, court wise, like bro, yeah. I'm telling you, if you watch you, if you if people that do watch you, you can clearly see the difference. Yeah, and it's like before you might have like years ago, a couple years ago, you might be more athletic. Yeah. You might have had this, much, but now the focus and the tenacity that you playing yeah. with, bro. The, the game is just slowed down for me now. Now I know how to pick up my spots. Man. My athleticism has dropped. Little bit yeah, far as right. being on the rim as much, um, but that comes with time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Slowly getting that back. I got that back this year before I got hurt. I was on the rim a lot more, uh, finishing, you know, around the rim. But I, I think I was super duper athletic um, in Russia. Gotcha. I probably, I, I mean, I was ducking everything in Russia. Like, I was on that. I was on that. But, you know, that's coming back. But that's just working with my guy, Chris Hannigan, bro. He really prepared me. But like I said, we had. Two injuries, two major injuries. The ankle, which slows down, and then the shoulder, you know, which kind of hindered me a little bit. But we, we're working our way back to get back to that, bro. If I can get another good three, four years of being that high athletic guy, and then the next three, four years of just being a guy that's going to get buckets, that'd be cool, too. But, like, right now, bro, I showed that I can put the ball in the hole. I have 23 points in 11 games. Well, in 10 games, because 11 games, I got hurt, had 8, and that shit dropped my shit. I'm mad as my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 23 points in 10 games, bro, that was impressive for myself. I was happy for myself, too. Uh, winning four of the, was it four of the, what, no. I think we won four and seven, three and, no. Sorry. Four and six. I think it was four and six. Uh, so that was a good thing, you know what I mean, before I left, you know what I mean? So that was dope. You know what I mean? The 11 game. I'm sorry, we was 4 and 7. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. 5 and 7, I believe. I don't know. I got to look at 5 and 6. Yeah, 5 and 6. I'm sorry. Yeah. 5 and 6. So we was good, though, man. It was a good look. It was yeah. a good look for me. But, I mean, you know, I wish I could still be playing because a lot of games we would have won. You know what I mean? There's some games that they should have won even won. Yeah, I, mean, I yeah. see you was pissed off on Twitter saying a couple of dudes was getting off with shit over there. Oh, they, they just, yeah, they got off the hook. Yeah, yeah, they got, they got off, off the hook. hook. Yeah, a lot, a lot of dudes, and they got off the hook. They yeah. know who they are. They got right. off the hook. A lot, <laughs> of, a lot of dudes not like that, bro. They don't put in the work. Right. They just over there stealing money. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't put in the work. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah. Facts. Damn, hey, man. So... Again, you've been well versed. You've been uh, you've been around the country. You've been around the world, several different continents, man. Yeah. For it, the up and coming athlete coming out of college that's gonna might be able to go overseas and play, what's the most important thing that you would tell them, man? Uh, stay down, bro. Stay down. Don't worry about the next man. You know, what I mean, don't worry about what this person making, what this person got going on. Focus on you because I, you know, run your race. Everybody's story is not gonna be the same. My story took me all over the place. You know, what I mean, from. Uh, 
like you said, Belgium to Germany to we'll see even starting college from JUCO to Central to Colorado State, Belgium, Germany, then to the league. I mean, to Turkey, then to the league, and then back overseas. You know what I mean? You can get low on yourself, like getting you know getting waved out of the league. You know, you can go into depression about that. That's your dream. You yeah. I mean? But no, I just know my end goal. I want I want to maximize this game. I love the game. It ain't about the dollars. You know what I mean? Of course, you know when it comes to business, you make your money. You know, earn, get you. Get your earnings, but at the end of the day, I love the game. Absolutely. I love the game, so that's why I still do it. Like some dudes, like I said, some dudes get paid and come home and bullshit for two months and then or a month, whatever, and then don't work out and then go back over and like, oh, I get a shit on the season and don't don't progress to get better. But they just lock in. But that's the thing. Some of these guys have been been in that league for so long that they can get away with it. So it's a new wave of dudes that's coming through. Like, yeah, you gotta get better. Mm -hmm. when, when I come when I come across a scout report, you know what's up. You gotta mm -hmm. go get better. Show me that. Show me that you good. You know what I mean. And shout out to my guy Pete. We had this talk all the time. My guy, my guy Perry Briefly, one of the best guys that's in the league in, in Japan league right now. If not, he's even second to the first league score right now. But yeah, we had that talk. I mean, him kind of, kind of got that same momentum. Like yeah, bro. Like you got to show me. You know, you better than me. All you right. know what I mean, I, I I want that comp. You know what I mean. That's how I mean him go at it. You know what I mean. So, for sure. That's what it is, man. I appreciate that sentiment on that. For yes, real. indeed. So to close, I do top fives. Okay. So I'm gonna do there we th go. It's three groups of them for you. You know what I mean? It's not All gonna right. be too too bad. You know what I'm All saying? Right. Three groups. 